Since it was established in 1995, the Day of Reconciliation has marked a time when South Africans gather and reflect upon their shared and complicated history. This day is meant to help South Africans reconcile their truths and experiences in order to appreciate and celebrate the many rich cultural traditions that make up a wonderfully diverse, unified and strong South Africa. In Cape Town, to commemorate the Day of Reconciliation, I visited the Iziko Slave Lodge, a museum that reminds us of the terrible injustices and tragedies that form part of our common histories, both here in South Africa and in the United States. It reminds us of the perilous journey across the high seas that slaves were forced to endure of the thousands and thousands of people who did not survive these journeys and of the back-breaking work that awaited them. Today, I was deeply moved when I saw pieces of the Seo Jose slave shipwreck. On this ship, over 200 men, women and children perished and 300 more survivors were recaptured and brought to this very building to be imprisoned until they were auctioned off once more. I am humbled and grateful that the United States government, through the Ambassador's Fund for Cultural Preservation, was able to partner with South Africa to support the restoration and preservation of these tremendously important artifacts of our shared historical consciousness. Today is a day to reconcile this history with the present and to look forward towards our shared future. For truly, only by reconciling the past with the present can we hope to avoid repeating these injustices in the future. Let us stand steadfast together on the road ahead.